Make sure you check out OneFootball. It's a great app to get all your latest football news and live updates. So welcome back to another episode of the Unbelievable Things in FIFA 19. This is the show where you guys send in your fails, your funny moments and other cool clips. Let's review some more clips that you guys have sent in over the last few weeks. But before we get into the video, we have the 100k update. We only have 9,762 people to go. So if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe today and also tell a friend to subscribe and uh, we'll get there in no time. So the first thing is from FIFA Career Gems today and you guys should subscribe to him as well on YouTube. He does some good stuff. He managed to put Zidane in career mode and use him as a normal manager. So this year we've seen Joachim Lowe, we've seen Churchesov, and now Zidane. And apparently if you used one of the like ghost faces when you set up your like uh, manager profile in career mode, it would be Zidane hidden behind the, the ghost face, you know? Now I tried to do this myself, it didn't work for me because they patched it within a day. I don't know how they found out so quickly, but it was gone. So it only happened maybe a few a few hours after the update came out a few weeks ago, This one of the squad updates, and uh, they got rid of it quick. So here you can see some clips from FIFA Career Gems of just, you know, Zidane doing his thing in the transfer negotiation room. If you guys managed to start a new career mode at that time, you would have Zidane right now in your save. But if you try to do it today, he's not going to be there. This next one comes from the FIFA Reddit and the user was Jack. And basically, we all know this concept manager in career mode. You know, he's got the nice little hair, younger looking, you know. But this guy has gone to the barbers apparently and has got a fresh trim. Now, a few people have noticed this, but you can see there it's some sort of like hair glitch for this guy where he goes with a shaved head into the transfer negotiation room. Look at the difference between the two there. Um, I, don't, I don't like that haircut, to be honest, for the poor guy, but it's not deliberate, it's just like a bug. But uh, let me know what you think. Next up, we have a clip by me, and a deliberate headbutt goes unnoticed. So I was recording something, and then I saw this. So you can see Arthur in the number eight. He's directly sprinting towards a player, and he lunges at him, headbutts him in the face, and continues to run off. The referee's right in front of their face as well. Does not stop the play. Arthur's allowed to continue. Like, if you take a look at that clip again, it's a deliberate, deliberate headbutt. Just the way Zidane did it back in uh, 2006 as well. Look at this. He lunges at him. Bang. Even like, oh my goodness, I feel sorry for the number 12 there. Surely he's going to have a concussion after that, man. That, that is deliberate. And the referee didn't even care. But that's not all, folks. We have another headbutt clip here. I didn't write the name down of the person who sent it. I get so many in that sometimes I just forget to write the... Uh, the name of the person as I collect these clips, but let's take a look at the clip here and Matic appears to be marking Aguero in the box and he trips over De Gea and then headbutts Aguero straight in the face and then just gets up like nothing happened. Aguero's, I don't know, he gets up as well. He didn't really sell it that well, but yeah, he trips over De Gea's feet, lunges at Aguero and just absolutely smashes him in the face. Next up, we have a clip from Reddit again, Wanted MK1. This player is not going to be having kids. He copped two nutcrackers in the spam of five seconds. Let's take a look. The first shot gets him and he reacts well. And then the second one just comes again and uh, that's game over for him, man. He's probably seeing the stars right now. Probably thinking, what am I doing to myself here? And uh, yeah, he's not going to be having kids. So this one was sent in by Hungry Cat and I think he was playing a La Liga match here. He goes, I couldn't even see the added time. So with this image, you can see that the number came up. It's plus three. I don't know if you can see, but it's in black. And uh, yeah, there's no like color behind it to make it stand out like uh, like it should be. On the game, currently it has that little creamy background, but in his one it didn't come up. So sometimes the scoreboards are a little bit glitchy for certain leagues and stuff. I know the Europa League has glitchy scoreboards, even the League One sometimes doesn't work properly. Sometimes the Bundesliga as well. But yeah, it's pretty hard to know how much time you've got added on when you can barely see it. This next clip was found on Reddit from Alien, and I'm starting to think that FIFA 19 has become a WWE game because I've seen all these headbutts, I've seen now punches, and take a look at this one, Harry Kane just hitting the keeper from a celebration. So he scores the goal, and then he does that celebration where they punch the air twice. The first one, he punches the crossbar. I don't know if that would have broke his hand or not because I think that would have hurt unless he's got a fist of steel. But then the second one, he runs, like he's celebrating, goes next to the keeper and does the second punch, which actually connects with the keeper, sends him flying through the, through the goal net, and, uh, you know, he just disguises it as a, as a celebration. The referee doesn't care, obviously. And, uh, you know, Harry Kane just punched the keeper. The next clip we have is from JC, and it's Martin Tyler delayed commentary. Now, I feel sorry for Martin Tyler. He's done a lot of FIFA games. He's obviously probably aging a little bit now as well, running out of steam. And uh, I think he's lost the plot in this latest clip here. Two players ready to come on, and they'll bring them on together now.
But when you get a corner, you need to do better than that. And it's a goal kick. Poor delivery. And this is a goal! And they are the dominant force now. And there should be no way back for the other team. So I hope you heard what he said in the clip. Basically, they took the corner and they scored from the corner. But at the same time they scored, Martin Tyler was going, well, you have to do better with that corner. You know, it's a poor corner. And then like two seconds later, they're like, he scored. You know, you know, that's kind of thing. And uh, yeah, pretty ridiculous to hear because you're actually watching it and the commentary does not match up with what you're seeing on the screen. Martin Tyler, please tell EA you want to have a break. We don't mind having some different commentators for a while, you know. You've done your fair share of FIFA games. Just take a little break and uh, let someone else take over. Maybe we can get some fresh commentary in the game. This next clip was sent in by Millagecore, and it's just basically a WTF clip. Like, you don't know what's going on. So, basically, there's a corner, and the guy scores the header off the corner. And as the ball goes in, the camera angle just changes to a whole picture of the stadium. And you can see the red arrow, like, the guy's celebrating, and then all of a sudden, the camera angle decides to come back onto the field. But it's just very, very dodgy. Like, obviously, that's not supposed to be happening. And then, again, we see the picture of the whole stadium again. Yeah, it's totally broken. And you see zero goals in Coppa Nazionale. There's no name of the player that scored as well. No logo. So it's just completely lost the plot here. What's the goalie doing, Tom? What's the goalie doing? As you could tell, probably by the bad intro, we have the What is the Keeper Doing segment. The world-famous segment. Everyone has a clip for it. But this week's clip is from Milichkor. And basically, the keeper collects the ball in his own box, but he sort of dives. And as he gets up, the animation takes his hands and the ball over the line, which means that uh, you have to award a free kick for the other team because the keeper's supposed to keep, keep the ball in his own box when he picks it up. And easily, he could have kept it in his own box, but the dodgy animation, you know, just takes him over the line. Stuff like this can be very, very frustrating because it just gives away dodgy free kicks that weren't supposed to happen, you know? And uh, we all know the goalkeeper AI needs improving. It's not the best this year as well. And uh, yeah, they need a lot of work. Next up, we have a career mode clip. I'm gonna start combining the career mode clips with the normal gameplay stuff because I think people don't wanna watch two different kinds of series on this channel now. I think having it all in one spot could be better for you guys. So each episode from now on might feature a few career mode clips, but today we have a clip sent in by Harry, and he goes, El Nenny was injured, but he still got called up for international duty. So let's take a look here. You can see that he gets an email about international duty, the players that are leaving, and this was on the 18th of March, 2020. It says, please note that the following players are unavailable from the 23rd of March to the 29th. So the 23rd of March is only five days away. You have to keep this in mind because I'm going to show you the next part soon. But you can see El Nenny on the list there for Egypt. And then when he backs out and he goes to his squad hub, you can see that um, El Nenny, it says injured for two weeks still. So obviously the 23rd of March is not two weeks away. So why is he getting called up if he's got a broken ankle and he's 100% fit in two weeks? It's not possible that he can play on international duty. Another segment that's making its way into every episode I do is the dodgy animation segment. So this one was sent in by Jack, and basically there was like a, an attack going on, and the guy played it to one of his strikers there, but the ball was a little bit behind the striker, and what does he do? He does this dodgy animation where he miskicks it, and then he slides two meters backwards. Now, I don't think this is even possible for any human to just like miskick it, and then slide two meters backwards. I tried to do it, I almost broke my, almost pulled a hamstring, so I would say that it's not possible to do. And it's always this animation when there's like a miss kick. It's happened as well in another clip in the series. But anyway, we move on to the next one, which is from Nathan. And he goes three goals in the same minute in a sim game. So these are those sim game things where everything happens in one minute. So in the 59th minute here, we had a goal from Cotroni from Aston Villa. And uh, in the same minute again, 59th minute, we had a goal again for Aston Villa. And then in the same minute again, Sheffield Wednesday scored. And basically three goals in one minute. What could possibly have happened to cause this? Now, it just wouldn't be the same if we didn't have a throw-in glitch clip to put into this episode. So the first one is from Jesus Aguilar. I'm sorry if it's Jesus. I'm not really sure how to pronounce these kinds of things. But we have the first clip here. And it's an Ajax player. And uh, yeah, you can see it right there. He's doing the throw-in glitch where there's no ball. And he's not moving at all. All he's doing is doing that hand signal. But we have another one to take a look at as well. And this one was sent in by Blake. So this is the second clip of the day. Another one there where the player's just standing there, not even on the line where you take the throw-in, and he's doing that throw-in glitch animation. I don't know how to do this. It's never happened to me, but it seems like it's a pretty common thing because every week we have one. So if you need something else to watch, make sure you check out the card in the middle. It'll take you to the actual playlist for this series so you can watch every episode up to now. 
Thanks everyone for sending in your clips and I'll see you next time.